Well, I have to film it to document the amazing job that you guys have done. This That's should be wild. really, I mean, no time at all. It seemed like forever, though. Yeah. And we got the floors done too. I know the floors are absolutely and beautiful, floors. and uh, I love the cabinetry. It's so <laughs> clean and professional. And then you've got books. Mm -hmm. Which one is? What's that? Inside poop? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we would have had the other one there, but we lent it to someone, so yeah. To, oh, okay. Yeah, I have another one I can give you. We have to reorder yeah, it. Yeah, we have to get another one. I'll just. Give, I have one there. And then you guys are Juice Plus. Yeah, and then we got the Alice the on the bottom and the Udo oil. And... Uh -huh. Oh, are you actually selling the Udo's oil? No, no. we just want to show it. Oh. That so, we recommend it. Mm. Jensen, Overcoming Parasites, Fast Food Nation. Wow, they've got all the classics. And we got some DVDs up there too. Food Inc. So, just to review, you, you are just two ordinary people. I mean, of course, you're extraordinary. <laughs> but you just took a room in your house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and created a spa. I mean, yeah. or a... A colonic and a spa. Originally, this was a garage. And before we moved into the house, they changed it into a bedroom where they added a bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then it was just an empty room here. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make it a clean environment. So mm -hmm. we decided to put floors down so it would be easier to clean if there were any mishaps or, you know. So it does look cleaner, you know, instead of having carpet here, so, you know, it does look more professional. Yeah. More, so we more, more, to have more clean environment. sanitary. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. so it's a sanitary environment. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's as good of a setup as I've ever seen. It doesn't even look like a bedroom anymore. Just looks like no, office. no. I mean, it's so functional. It's, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a sink so that this way, when the client is in the bathroom, we yeah. don't have to wait for them to come out. They can clean. So smart. <laughs> <laughs> all the pipes are right here. That, since yeah, it's all an the pipes outside, are right here. All mm -hmm. the pipes have to be on the outside. Yeah, uh -huh. let's, let's turn this on. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then are you still overflowing your tank occasionally? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. No, uh, uh, well, when I mean, I do it on my own, sometimes mm -hmm. I'll forget. It's, oh. Yeah. Do you hear the splashing <laughs> sound? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the floor. It's, oh, or the bucket. Oh, the bucket, yeah. Well, um, can I interview you guys? You could sit right there. I think the lighting sure. is good. Sure. And um, cause let's, let's talk a little bit about your colonics. Okay. And, and you don't care if I post this, right? I don't care at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, um, so how many colonics do you think you have done? I mean, to I know ourselves? to yourselves. I, we lost wow. count. We start. We stopped counting like after 30, 40. Yeah. Stop counting. Yeah, I just couldn't keep up with. Thirty it. or forty here at your We're house. We're doing at least three a week. Yeah, okay. At least. At least. We try to do three in a, a row each week. Okay. At one time, we did about five in a row on each other, so at one time, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we don't more. go more than a week without. Yeah. If anything, you know, if their work gets to us or there's mm -hmm. other things going on, we won't go more than a week. And what's the result? I mean, just speaking generally, what is the result of you having this unit and you're able to give yourself colonics? Is, there, is it just a process or what, what are some of your learnings? Uh, well, physically, I haven't been sick in about a year now. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't had any major sickness or had to go to the doctor for anything. And previously, you were? Yeah, I was always going for something. Mm -hmm. Something was bothering me here or there or, or yeah. whatever. Really? Yeah. So that is huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and I've noticed also a lot of. I'm still going through. Detoxing. Yeah, a lot of. I mean, there's times where I'll f it's like a roller coaster ride. Some days I feel really great. Some days I feel not so great. Mm -hmm. But I know that it's still things that are coming out of me, mm -hmm. or I'll have a few more headaches than I used to have, mm -hmm. and then there's times where I don't have any headaches after mm -hmm. colonics. Mm -hmm. So I know that I need more colonics because I'm still cleansing. Mm -hmm. I think the cleansing process is the longest. Mm -hmm. But I'm 
I'm glad that it's happening because I know that it's coming out. Mm -hmm. And that wherever it's kind of stuck, it's starting to move along. It's coming out of the blood too, so. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going through a detox. Yeah, tell him about your skin. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I had something coming out of my pores, out of my skin. I don't know what it was, but it looked like... Um, ringworms. Ringworms. Yeah. But, uh... It just started clearing up because... Yes, they just started clearing up this week. It was just... You could see maybe a little bit of it. Yeah, it not looks, really. I mean, I can, but the camera can. Yeah. 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 So it's just a little bit... But it was red. You could definitely see oh, it. It was, it was, it was all over my body. Just my your neck. chest area. Your neck just over here. My bottom was, and it was just my upper area. I mm -hmm. didn't know why, but I kept on doing the colonic and was doing ozone. Mm -hmm. And just this it, week it started clearing. Yeah, just this week it started clearing. I've had it for about a month. Mm -hmm. So. Just, so whatever was sitting in his body has come out. Yeah. And, you know, that's your sense of it is that there was something internal that's been coming it out. It had to be. Now a lot of people would think that that was the colonics, but say, well, I have to stop the colonics because it's giving me a skin rash. Yeah, I I didn't think it was due to it. I think it was it was a process because I had to do a process of elimination. I said, what could it be? Well, I'm not going to stop the colonic because of it. Right. I'm not going to stop anything period because I know that the colonics is good for me mm -hmm. and it, it definitely has been good for me yeah mm -hmm. I know that I've been feeling better I've, yeah you're gonna have your up and down but I know what it's doing for me after all this research and all this reading and mm -hmm. I know what's I know what's going on so. it's even more of a reason to keep doing it yes because it's coming out of your system I mean yeah people will stop mm -hmm. I wanted to stop but I said no I'm gonna keep on doing it push it out and that's when I was doing two and three times in a row mm. two three days in a row four times in a row um, with the ozone and, and now it's finally disappearing and lately like the past month or two the colonics for me have been uncomfortable mm. but I know it's because it's probably either going in a little bit deeper or cleaning away the waste that, is, that has been there for so All long. All pieces, yeah. You know, and mm. it, it can be uncomfortable where you don't want to do it, but I'd rather have it out of my body than in a year or two be sick from it because it's been sitting in my body. Mm -hmm. So, you know. You're probably past that. You know what I mean? You've got enough of a flow going and a momentum. It's cake from here on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I had one, just one time where it was just extreme for me. I couldn't <laughs> yeah, I take heard it. him in the other room. <laughs> really? I had to call her help. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, nothing was coming out. And I just, honey, I feel like it's right there, but nothing's coming out. All I kept on seeing was just little, um, little things here and there coming out. And, and I, I had to stop after 30 minutes. I said, I really, really, do I give you 10 seconds, three times? Do I fill you up? says, no, don't fill me up. I am already full. Hmm. I just, I couldn't. Then when, as soon as I went into the bathroom, <clears throat> and then all the water started coming out. So it, it, it was something that was probably an old piece of feces or something, <laughs> whatever, but it was dark. It was like fat? There. It was fat, dark. So it must have been something really old that couldn't go through the scope. So I, I was just happy that it just was gone. I said, well, then the next day I went and nothing. And from then on, I, I, it hasn't happened again. But I don't think I want to go through that again. But, you know, I'll do it again. But it's somewhere. gone. So yeah, it's gone. So it is gone. Wow. It's hard to appreciate that that was probably in there for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's good that it's I good. could imagine what my insides look like, you know. Mm. Not like a, not like, not like it's on the chart, not like a regular column would be, but my, it's probably all distorted inside. Right.
whatever reason, keep doing it. Yes. Because it's coming out of your system.